Hey guys, this is Are You Ready For. Today is August 25th, 2021, 4.41 a.m. Central Time. Troops leaving behind Americans in Afghanistan. Well, well, well. The military's already leaving. They started leaving yesterday. And they have to in order to meet the trivial, ridiculous, mushy brains, motherfucking Biden, jackass, Alzheimer patient that came up with this trivial deadline of August 31st that the Taliban isn't forcing and saying there will be, quote, consequences, end quote, if we stay longer. They have to leave now. There's no way we could get out however many 7,000 some odd troops in like one day. There's just no way. Wouldn't work out. So he's on the track of actually following that. Um, I will, I, you know, I'll say this. When I do a video, I create a title, right? Figure out what I'm going to say. Maybe write down some, some bullet points, some shit. End up doing the video a few times because I fuck things up. And then I upload it. I have no idea what I was going to say in this video. And the more I thought about what I was going to say, the angrier I got. So I said, fuck it. I'm just going to do the video. So <clears throat> here we go. I'm going to share this. One of my USMC brothers the other day killed himself. He could not handle this situation. Veteran, not serving. Um, I cannot imagine the mental state that these troops that are currently deployed in Afghanistan and the ones that just left are going to be in when they get home. I don't. I, I don't think Biden has any idea what the consequences of this is, are. The Taliban obviously is not reformed. They are already going around killing people, hunting people down. Veterans are doing more to get people out of Afghanistan than this administration, which is sickening. I've been able to get out about seven interpreters, some of their family, mostly not, some Americans with families using our foreign allies. There is a veterans network that is helping people get past the Taliban checkpoints in order to get into the airport. There's also some other veterans I've been in contact with doing some other things, getting other people out. It's ridiculous that that has to happen. If we weren't doing this, we would be leaving a lot of people behind. So the administration's twisted words of we will get out, and I'm sure he said it again yesterday, didn't watch his bullshit conference. We will get out every American that wants to come home. That, that sentence, that term. They keep saying that. Every American that wants to leave. Every American that wants to come home. Every American blah, blah, blah. Wants to. There is no American sitting in Afghanistan right now that does not want to leave. Guaranteed. Okay? Guaranteed. The Taliban are vicious people. I can't believe that we started negotiating with them to begin with under the Trump administration. I was very critical of the Doha agreement. But beside the point, as soon as videos surface, okay, and they will, videos will absolutely surface. In fact, those videos are being made now. Some of those videos already exist, guaranteed. They're waiting for Americans to leave. Of them doing revenge killings, beheading, dismembering, shooting, hanging, setting on fire, doing all kinds of disgusting, fucked up things to Americans, to Afghans that helped us, to British and any other of our allies that are going to be stuck there as well, Canadians, you name it, the people that helped us, any NATO ally, they will find these people, they will videotape it and upload it, and it will surface online. People are going to have a very different huh, 
view and understanding of what is really going on in Afghanistan when that happens. The troops that are leaving those people behind will flip. Veterans who, were, who, who served in Afghanistan, Iraq war will flip. Americans who think the Taliban is reformed based on the bullshit they're saying will absolutely change their mind and have a hissy fit. Americans that are not stupid enough to believe that the Taliban has reformed their ways will say told you so and be disturbed as well. There will be many suicides in our military once this happens. I can pretty much guarantee that. Soon as videos surfacing, I mean, it's just going to be a disaster site for this country. Our allies are pissed. Canadian or Canada is pissed. Um, the British parliamentary censured and condemned Biden the other day. I don't even know what that does. If that's just a political condemnation or if that actually does something. It's going to be a disaster. I didn't know what I was going to say when I started this video, but that's how I'm going to end it. He should be standing at that podium saying, we are going to stay until every single American is out. We are going to stay until every Afghan that helped us, that wants to leave, is out. And anyone who stands in our way, whether it be from the Taliban, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, Hamas, or any other foreign country who chooses to bring someone else in there, if you stand in our way, we will destroy you. Those words need to be said, but they won't. They won't. If you stand in our way, you will regret it. Just say it that way. If you stand in our way, you will regret it. You don't have to say you're going to off him, kill him, or anything. Be nice about it. If you stand in our way, you will regret it. <laughs> End of story. But this motherfucker comes to a podium and says the complete opposite, bows down, and agrees to this bullshit timeline. It's unbelievable. We will have absolutely no way to get back into this country. There will be no saving people. There are no nearby bases. CT in this country is dead. We are dark. There is no counterterrorism. That's what sa that stands for. The flights for drones to get into that country t would take hours to get there. More or less humans trying to get on the ground that is not flat. It is very rocky in Afghanistan. I mean, it's just a joke. It's an absolute joke. This is going to be a disaster site. Mark my words. As soon as those videos surface, and they will, this will be a whole new ball game for people who seem to think that not was this, was this just not botched? It was a a death sentence, a death sentence. For those that don't understand that, not there are some of them out there. This is going to be horrific on the mental states of every American, but it is going to fuck up the people that are deployed fuck them up hard and it is going to severely fuck up as well veterans this is unbelievable i'm i'm still in shock i'm in like a denial mode that this is happening anyway this is are you ready for take care guys have a great morning